Well, we now tell you a story of a necrophilia offender who is behind bars in the United Kingdom. Well, viewer caution has been advised. Details have been published as a part of the first phase of a probe launched two years ago in the David Fuller case on how he was able to violate the dead bodies of 101 women and girls for 15 years, that is between 2005 and 2020, without being caught. Dubbed as the Morgue Monster, 69-year-old David Fuller was already serving life imprisonment for the murder of two ladies in different attacks in 1987, that is, when his necrophilia offences surfaced, with police unco uncovering his systematic sexual abuse in hospital mortuaries. The UK government launched an independent inquiry in 2021 to probe how Fuller was able to carry out his crimes undetected for such a long time. With the first phase of the probe looking at his employer, Maidstone, and the, the NHS trust there. Well, the inquiry commission found that there were serious failings at the two hospitals where he worked. David Fuller was employed at the now-closed Kent and Sussex Hospital and the Wells Hospital between 2005 and 2020. And that is when, during this period, is when he committed the offences. The Inquiry Commission held the management guilty of misgovernance and procedural failings and faulted its lack of curiosity, which allowed Fuller to continue committing the offence for such a long time. Criticizing UK hospital group Maidstone and Wells NHS Trust, which manages hospitals in Kent, the Inquiry Commission urged the hospital group to reflect on their responsibility, which includes installation of security cameras in the hospital mortuary and post-mortem rooms, and for maintenance staff to work in pairs in those areas.